everybody, what is up? Welcome to another video. Cook with me. Cook with me. Yeah. <laughs> but it's your guys' favorite kind of cook with me. It's a crock pot freezer meal cook with me. Yes. Which, you guys, we are, it's like the beginning of the week and we are trying to get everything situated and ready because you guys know we're soccer, soccer, soccer all the time. And so it's gonna be nice just to have some things made and ready so we can just throw them in the crock pot on the busy nights. And we'd so. like to do some more of these, so leave in the comments some recommendations of different type of like crock pot freezer meals that we could do for the family. Yeah, let us know, but you guys, this week we got you. So try these recipes out, sounds really good. And really easy, simple ingredients. You can just kind of throw it all together, throw it in the freezer, and then throw it in the crock pot later, which yep. is so nice. So, so as you can tell from the title, we've got... So we have got the barbecue chicken, not very many ingredients again, and then we also have a honey garlic chicken Ooh, that we're gonna do. I'm excited so, for that one. Yeah, I think that's gonna be really yummy. So this one I think we'll probably have over rice this week, and this one we'll have probably like on buns, like hamburger buns, like barbecue sandwich type, oh, okay. shredded. Hawaiian roll kind of thing. Or? Yeah, like sliders. We could do either or. French whatever. rolls. French, French rolls. Really, whatever we're feeling. Nice. French rolls is a good idea, though. Yes. Maybe and we toast do that. them. Oh, yeah. Yeah. That'll be yummy. So, anyways, we're going to prepare this. I am going to double this recipe. I'll give you guys, like, what it is for the single because I'm just going to put it in two different bags um, for each. So, just so we have enough to feed our entire family. Boom. So, this is part of it. You've got a label. I have two labels. So, I'm going to put the date what it is and then how many hours in the crock pot um just so we can remember and sometimes sometimes people will put like how many servings yes on occasion. on occasion um what is today oh october 2nd guys can you believe it's october already wow i can't believe it best month of the year know, it's your birthday month what? daddy's turning 60 this year <laughs> Oh my god. <laughs> That's amazing, babe. You look great. Wow. You look incredible. Yep. And what? You're still in your 30s? Wow. <laughs> I scored. Yeah, you did score. <laughs> look at you robbing the cradle. Wow. Okay, so this specific recipe, I'm doing the barbecue one first. It's six to eight hours in the crock pot on low all day. So you are going to want to defrost it the night before, like in your fridge, and then just dump it in in the morning when you wake up. And so I got it all labeled. Can you see that? Um, no. What about now? Well, I could see that what you wrote now? on it. What about now? <laughs> wow. Just trust me, it's on there. So. You guys, check out this gadget right here. The best. If you are making freezer meals, I kid you not, this is the best utensil to have. Shout Actually, out to Lemonade Mom. Lemonade Mom sent us one of these when we were doing like uh, freezer meals all the time. Yeah. It's been a lifesaver. She's and like, you've got to use this. I know. She's like, what are you doing? Just use one of these. I'm like, you know what? You are brilliant. And we use it every time we do freezer meals. And I'm gonna get another one, because I was just telling Danny, I'm like, I could make both of these at the same time if I had two of them. That's uh, true. But I don't. So I'm gonna do one and then do another. I mean, I could open it and try to fight with it, but this is honestly, it's the best. It just holds the bag just like this. And I absolutely love it. And we'll put a link to it in the description below in case you guys want one for yes, yourself. Yes, it just makes everything easier just to dump it in, like plop it all in there and you're good to go. So. We're gonna start on this bad boy. Okay, so for this recipe, you guys, it calls for four chicken breasts, which you guys know, I love getting the 10 pound bag at Walmart of the chicken, and especially for stuff like this, I'm like, you can just whoop, Oop. dump it in, and you don't have to defrost it or anything, you just put in the frozen chicken. And I'm trying to debate, because these are so big. They are, I would go like three. You think three? Yeah. yeah you wow. think three? Will the bag close if you put another one? No, because these are huge. <laughs> yeah. I'm gonna go with three, be just because they are big. I'll try one. Should I try one more? Yeah, just do it. Okay, I'm gonna try one more. It says four, so I think it's, yeah. I think we're good. Yeah. I think we're good. So basically it's four chicken breasts. Okay, so for this one, I'm going to dump all of like the liquid ingredients into a separate bowl and then dump it in here. That way I can get it mixed up really good. You could probably do this in the bag before you put the chicken in, but this I honestly feel like is just gonna be cleaner way of doing it. So you're gonna need 10 ounces of barbecue sauce. So that's basically almost this whole entire thing. Wow. This is 12 ounces, so we're gonna just go till it feels right. And you guys have to stay tuned because we will make this in like a vlog. <laughs> oh, are you okay? What was that? <laughs> <laughs> what was that? Babe, wow. <laughs> oh, my mamacita. <laughs> ay, ay, ay. So we will, we will try to have this in a vlog. So if we have it in a vlog, 
Well, obviously you guys can see it yeah. there. Otherwise, check out our Instagram stories and all that. We'll always yeah. post it. We'll update if it's you guys. Um, something that we eat during the week, we'll post a picture of it and a link to the video as well. And I don't know how any of this could be bad, honestly. I feel like no. the ingredients are good. Like it's crock pot. It's gonna be shredded and delicious. So, okay, so 10 ounces barbecue sauce of your choice. Then you're going to do two tablespoons of apple cider vinegar. So we're gonna go one and two. Boom. Okay, one fourth cup of olive oil. Okay, we're gonna just sprinkle in some garlic powder. To taste or just kinda? Yeah, just kinda eye it. It says one teaspoon, so if you wanna go like by actual measurements, you can do that. A sprinkle of pepper. Salt and pepper are optional. You don't have to do either one, but. You like pepper, huh? I like it a little bit. I feel like you put it on. I don't put it on anything except my tomato soup usually. Oh, okay. Yeah, so. Okay, so that's the mix right there. So we're just gonna stir this around. Get it all mixed up nice. So this is literally everything. That's it. That's it. That's not bad, right? Guys, how easy Very is that? few ingredients. That's what I'm like always looking for in recipes where you don't have too, too many ingredients. If we're looking for like a quick something, then you just throw it all together, dump and go. It's all ready. And so you guys, we already have our Olive Garden chicken crock pot um, meal that she makes. So uh, easy. What else aside from these have you ever made like bar you've done a barbecue yeah, chicken? Yeah, I've done a you? different barbecue recipe, not this specific one. I do my chicken salsa in the crock pot. I use oh, my crock yeah. pot a lot. For the guys. flautas. Yeah, yeah. I love we mainly use chicken in there, I would say. So there could be a ton of different like you could buy a bag of a few bags of these of the chicken breasts mm -hmm. and then just do like the Olive Garden chicken. You can do the salsa chicken. Just go to town. You can do um this barbecue honey and just have it on hand yeah and then what's the other one the oh the garlic the garlic honey. this is this is just regular barbecue and okay. then we have the garlic honey wow so, so literally right there you could just have a set with a couple bags yeah. of of this 10 pound chicken yeah super easy so we're gonna just pour this over the chicken boom 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 yummo so we're just gonna take this off easy peasy see how easy that is oh i love it then you're going to obviously seal the Ziploc bag, but you want to make sure you get all the air out. That actually smells so good. It does already, huh? Did you taste a little bit of it? No, ew. Why wouldn't you? It's no not way. rotten. It's not cookie dough either. <laughs> it's what? just barbecue sauce and gar and a- You can taste and, it if you want. Okay. I don't know, that doesn't sound- Let me, let me try this. Like something I yeah. want to like lick. Oh, wow. Good? That's going to be really good. Is it? Okay, so then you're gonna put it in the bag like this and just kind of mix it around with the chicken. Wow, that tastes so really? good. Really? See, Dang, oh my that is fresh, guys. That's something. Like mouth watering, delicious. Wow. <laughs> like, Are like you just hungry so, right now? No. <laughs> okay. Right here. So good. So delicious. Okay, so look. I'm just trying to see if you would try it. No. <laughs> <laughs> wow, so it's not No, delicious? it actually is really good. You had really me convinced good. for a minute and it's then It's so good. I'm I'm curious though what your opinion is. Oh my gosh, Danny, fine. <laughs> mm, oh, wow. That's so delicious. I feel like stuff like that you it's plain as like you have to have it mixed with chicken and that has a good flavor. It does have a good flavor though. But Jeez. I'm like, it's barbecue sauce. Of course it has a good flavor. Man. No? That barbecue sauce is doesn't taste like that by itself. No, I guess the, yeah, I mean, it's really apple cider vinegar and garlic powder helps it, I guess. And salt and, and pepper. pepper. And Everything we just put in it. Yes. How weird. <laughs> okay, so there's this one. Boom. We've got our barbecue chicken. I lay it as flat as I can, but, you know, the chicken breasts are kind of lumpy. So we got this. I'm going to make one more bag of this because I will throw both into the crock pot day of just to feed our entire family. And then we'll move on to the next one. Okay. We got both bags done and that feels, I feel accomplished already. Wow. I'm like, dang, we're ahead of the game for the week. I don't know why I don't do this more. Yeah, so we're so, thinking like, man, Sunday should be our day. And yeah. because we were not going to do this cook with me. No, we're so tired. Yes, but you're I'm like, so once tired. you do it, you're like. You're like, okay. Yeah, now just you just get it done. It, it, it makes the rest of your week easier. You know what I mean? It's like, okay, take one night. Maybe you might be tired or whatever. Just get it done, throw everything in and then you're good for the week. Yes. So that's nice. Okay, so the next recipe, I've already labeled these bags. It's the honey garlic, basically in the crock pot, six to eight hours. Okay, so for this one you're gonna need, it says 1.5 pounds 
chicken breasts. I'm gonna do three, three chicken breasts. That okay. sounds about that right. sounds right. So, but first we'll do the sauce. You're gonna need honey. So we're gonna do a half cup of honey. Woo. This I feel like is gonna take forever. Let's go, ready? Do, 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 do. Oh, here, let me help you with that. Oh, thanks babe. Yeah, you're welcome. <laughs> Appreciate that. Okay, so here we go. Dumping it in, half a cup. Okay, I'm just gonna use that same half a cup and do half a cup of soy sauce. Here, let me help you with that. Thank you. Whoa! Well, <laughs> thank you! You're welcome. Wow, yeah, that yeah. really speeds up time. Oh, yeah. <laughs> okay, so half a cup, half a cup, and then, okay, then we're gonna do two teaspoons of the chili sauce. Hold on, I'll show you guys. Um, Holy cow. One. I'll show you which sauce I got. Oh, that looks hi. like a Trader Joe's container. No, this is not. This is a Vaughn's container. Ooh. But that's the oh, chili signature. sauce I got. So just get whatever chili sauce you want. That's the one I just grabbed because I saw it. And then we are going to do three tablespoons of garlic. I got the garlic, chunky garlic paste because it's easy and quick and I don't have to chop up garlic because I hate chopping garlic. So we're doing three tablespoons. It's gonna be, it's called garlic honey chicken, so. Ooh, we'll see how it affects me, you guys. I can't eat at the Cheesecake Factory garlic strictly or... because of the garlic. I, I literally throw up. Almost every time it Every goes. time I eat that. Why do we keep going? It's, it's pretty good. Yeah, it is pretty good. <laughs> no, I can't have like their garlic pastas. I can have like their, their chicken, their fried, the chicken parmesan, like and stuff And their like that. fried macaroni balls. Yes. Those are so good. So amazing. Okay, so I'm gonna mix this all up. Get the honey all mixed, the garlic all mixed, and then I'll put the chicken in the bag and we'll pour it over. And then that's it for that one too. Okay, best part is pouring it in. Here we go. Whee! <laughs> you can go on. <laughs> wow. Whee! Trying to convince myself this is the fun thing to do at this time of night. You know what? Like, mm. we were just talking about how grateful she'll be, so. Yeah, we were just saying. So, anyways, we're gonna take this off. Easy peasy, I'm telling you. Love that guy. And then, you're gonna take out all the air again in this one. And then we're gonna mix it up just like the barbecue one, and then this one will be ready to go too. You guys, and after how this video, easy. yeah, and after this video, we'll put a link to some other crock pot. Crock pot freezer meals that we've done previously. If you guys remember, yes. we used to do them all the time. You were part of a freezer meal group. I know, I should get that going again. That Actually, was actually awesome. I think it was like, I can't remember how many, but each lady would make eight. two. Oh, eight. It was eight. Eight. And then we would give two to each person. Yep. And then we all had like a variety of things that we had throughout the it week. It was so cool. It's actually kind of cool. Yeah. Maybe I need to start that again. I think you should. Maybe I will. Yes. Okay, one down, one more to go. Okay, you guys, boom, just like that, we've got our chicken meals made. Crock pot, freezer meal, chicken <laughs> thingies. So, look at that, all done. We've got our barbecue, we've got our honey garlic, and we're ready to go for the week, you guys. That's literally two meals this week that Dang. I don't even have to think about. We I should just dump and go. We've got to spend some time on next Sunday. I know. And just do like a more. do just a few more like different ones. Bust them out. Yeah, even like what? Cause there's, are there like casseroles you could do? And then oh yeah, the freezer meal casseroles. Oh. There's so many different things. Like I even want to do like some breakfast things for the kids because like the morning's so go 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 that sometimes they're just like I don't know toast or something. I don't know. Seriously, I like I will totally help do stuff like that because in the morning I'm. I'm a little bit more of a breakfast person because I'm like, you guys got to start your day just with something to feed your brain kind yeah. of thing. Elijah is our non-breakfast person. Yeah. Like it makes his stomach feel nauseous, but we try to get like, get him to have like a banana or an apple or something to get in his system. But I don't know, maybe we'll come up with some sort of breakfast freezer meal that will be easy to do and the kids will love it. We'll see. So any ideas, let us know in the comments down below, but otherwise you guys go out get the ingredients for these and prepare yourself for the week because you'll feel a ton better. So you guys, that is it. Thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe, like this video, and don't forget, choose your day.